issues with autism or main problem areas we have covered two topics in the past that is uh, what is autism and what causes autism if you would like to have a look their links are available in the description of this video today we will discuss the main problems and issues that are associated with autism spectrum disorder and these are number 1 difficulty in social interaction or socializing or social communication or non speech behaviors for social interaction number 2 difficulty in communication that is both verbal and non verbal domains 3 repetitive and restrictive behavior or interest range now we will discuss these three problem areas in detail before discussing the signs and symptoms in these areas we would like to mention that it is not necessary that all the symptoms and signs must be present secondly if any sign is there it does not necessarily means that the individual has autism you need to seek professional help for the exact diagnosis regarding your child or any other individual so let's discuss the first one that is difficulty in social interaction or socializing or social communication or non speech behaviors for social interaction this might include lack or poor eye contact difficulty using facial expression tone of voice gestures lack in responding to name lack of gestures like pointing to objects difficulty body posture difficulty interpreting gestures and emotional signals difficulty in reciprocity that is give and take types of concept lack of interest in shared enjoyment interest or achievements their tendency is towards solo enjoyment sort of things difficulty in understanding other person's feelings and emotions for example peekaboo they might show no interest response at all or if someone gets hurt difficulty in developing relationships with peers and siblings lack of sharing their own achievement for example if they are working on something a typical child show it to their parents or teachers and so on now let's discuss the second one difficulty in communication that is both verbal and non verbal domains this might include delay or lack of talk or spoken language difficulty in initiating conversations difficulty taking turns in discussion that is reciprocal difficulty to continue engagement in conversation stereotyped kind of communication or repetitive use of language for example repeating some phrases or sounds also called echolalia unusual tone and volume of voice for example monotone difficulty in understanding humor concrete focus on self needs and lack of pretend playing now let's discuss the third one repetitive and restrictive behavior or interest range 
repetitive behavior or body movements might include rocking flapping of arms legs hands flicking fingers tapping feet hair playing head rocking twiddling that is taking some object in hand and shaking or moving back and forth toe walking now restrictive behavior might include more focus on parts and pieces of objects for example wheels of a car rather than the whole car preoccupation of a particular object like certain toy toothbrush or any other object tend to play in exactly the same manner over and over again for example spinning wheels of a toy car making light button on and off opening and closing of a door preference of a same routine which includes same school route same cup etc very specific in food likeness and dislikeness hyper or hyposensitive to noise touch light taste of food texture of fiber movements etc okay apart from these some other problems that one might observe include lack of one's own awareness difficulties with anxiety sleep problems difficulties with activities of daily living like dressing eating feeding managing money traveling etc difficulties in identifying parents and strangers 